Today we have a short but special episode in which we will reveal the mindset that you have to have not only to attract men but to drive them wild. Now this episode is aimed specifically at women so if you are a guy you can still watch it for your entertainment or some insider information but truly this episode is aimed at women have standards. If you struggle dating guys because they blow hot and cold, are flaky, ghost you or do not seem to be able or willing to commit and everything just seems to be just about some instant gratification and validation of each other's sex appeal, then you need to review your standards. It's easy to go out and have flings here and there, but if you're after commitment, something longer, something more valuable, then you need to choose men that are after the same thing. If the guy you like gives you attention for an hour, two, three, or even a day, a week, then that is simply not gonna cut it. That may be fine for other women, but not for you. This is when you actually have to revert back to your standards. Sit him down and tell him, look, I know you think that what you are providing me with is enough, but man, you must be thinking about all those flings you met in the clubs the, in, in the evenings, because that's just not me. I'm on another level and I'm gonna need something else other than just flaky attitude and energy that quite frankly wastes my time. And you may be thinking that man you really like this guy and love spending time with him but are you really happy? Are you happy for such a short and limited time and be potentially sharing him with all these other women like that? I don't think so. Be confident to allow him to be masculine. Nowadays, wherever you look, be it Instagram, YouTube Shorts or TikTok, you'll see all these girls and women either proclaiming their emancipation and subscription to the pseudo-feminist ideologies or straight up offering bad dating and relationship advice under the guise of bad bitch, strong independent woman type of behavior that more often than not makes women believe that masculine behavior or misandry is the way to go, while in reality they miss the mark entirely. Look, there is nothing wrong with being strong or even independent. Hell, there is nothing wrong with having some masculine traits, just as there is nothing wrong with men having the softer side or even being able to embrace their feelings and emotions. However, there is no strength in being pushy, pushing men away, claiming I can do it myself or refusing their masculinity, shoving it into their faces. If you do that, you will attract feminine men, the submissive men, who seek out that kind of behavior. Men who want to be cared for rather than care for their woman. Men who love their submissive position either because it absolves them of responsibility or simply because that is the nature or their nurture. But you will never attract the manly man, the man that all these TikTok videos call out for whenever they ask where are the real men. Real masculine men don't want to feel worthless. They don't want to be made feel like they can't step up and take on their role of a provider for a woman who at every turn reminds them that I can do it myself. If a masculine man is what you want, you have to allow them to feel masculine. Otherwise, you will never attract them. Secondly, there is nothing strong about pushing guys away claiming I can do it all myself. I'm a bad bitch. I don't need a man for my happiness. And you know what? You're right. You don't need a guy to be happy. And yes, you can do it yourself, just like guys can do it themselves. But isn't it a lot more fun doing it together? Also, no truly strong woman would ever need to self-validate keeping men at arm's length just to prove to herself that she can do it herself. A truly strong woman knows that she can do it, but she also knows that it's a lot more fun if somebody else does it for her. Don't mistake a truly strong woman for a weak one that needs men to do things for her because she's simply incapable. Or I can do it all myself, the self-validating type of a woman that you see advice from on TikTok. Neither one of these is a strong woman. Once again, a truly strong woman knows she's strong and she doesn't need to prove it to herself by pushing men away. Be confident. If you feel like men hurt you or that you only attract creeps, men with prior commitments such as a relationship or marriage or men who are players and all they care about is sex or love bombers who need to leech off your love and energy, don't give up. Look, first of all, it's easy to be confident if you have never been hurt, but only a strong and confident woman will know who she is and what her goal is, what kind of a relationship she wants and the standards and values that matter to her. And such a woman will 
not waver at first, second or third mishap. Secondly, if you're attractive, you will attract all kinds of men, not just the good kind. You will literally attract all men. And yes, chances are that many of them will not be the right men for you. Now it is up to you to recognize that and end any such relationship. It is up to you to learn from each experience and move on, sifting through the bad ones until you find the one that makes you happy. The one who appreciates you and you appreciate back. One who supports you when you have a shitty day, and he is a great one. The one that you lift whenever he trips up. Life throws many obstacles our way and relationships are often tested. But when you and your partner are in it together, it is worth holding on to it. And you go until you find it. And look, I know that sometimes you may feel like life just does not seem to work out. But as long as you make sure that you grow as a person and better yourself, learn from bad experiences, and go out and look for the right man you are willing to commit to and he is willing to do the same for you, you're already ahead of the curve doing much more to achieve that happiness than 90% of other women who are at home recording TikToks and crying about how unlucky they are in love or what a strong and independent b-boss they are. You are already doing something and they are not. All right, guys, that is all I have to say today. If you want to reach out, feel free to send us a comment below. If you need help, from a professional with your relationship or just some love advice head to the description below where we have a link for our recommended counseling service like subscribe and i'll see you in the next one bye